Greetings guys, Irish here. Again, um been busy, so sorry I haven't been making videos. But uh in a recent Gen 2 update, uh, if we look, um the Gen 2 sources have come so there's a new kernel. And the first time this came, I just used the gen kernel, so I didn't really have a specialized kernel. So in this one, uh, in the last one I did, I created a custom kernel. So this is a brand new update with my custom kernel. And I thought I would show you guys my first attempt at transferring my old config to the new config. So I looked on the wiki, I asked some guys who were seasoned Gen 2 users like Caddy and Das Gregor, and I wrote down a few notes. Uh, so I thought I would, you know, try to do this. So the first thing to do, if we want to do, is go to E Select Kernel, and then List. Okay, uh, let's go sudo. Interesting. One second. Okay, I think I just misspelled it wrong. So, if I... Okay, uh, so I ran a depth clean, so it got rid of the <coughs> 4.9.16 uh, sources. So, if I didn't do the depth clean prior to this, uh, there would be two. So, the first thing we need to do is, uh, we'll just say... Uh, go into our sources first. So CD user SRC and then Linux. Now the, f the one thing that we need to do before anything else is do a backup. So we want to do a backup of the dot config file right here. So what we're going to do is a copy dot config to kernel dot config dash four point nine point sixteen slash gen two. So now if we check it So now if we check it, we should see the kernel 4.9.6. So the next thing we need to do is go to the prior uh, prior one. So we should be in the user SRC. So the next thing we need to do is go back into the eSelect kernel and then list. And then again, if there were two then I would choose the, the brand new one. So what we're going to do is, you can do this manually, but might as well if there's a tool. Set one. Okay. So now if we ls dash a you could see the kernel goes to the 4.9.3 uh, let's try this again so the Linux does go to the newer one so the next thing we need to do is go back uh, these are my notes so excuse me for so we're going to go back into the Linux <clears throat> and then we're going to say copy the two dots mean we're going back to the prior one and then we just need to say slash Linux dash 4.9 uh, maybe I don't need that Okay, 
CD back. All right. So now if we do copy prior Linux dash 4.9. forward slash <clears throat> dash gen2 slash dot config we want to bring it into the current one so we're going to do a single dot hmm. one second okay so what I had uh, was a space between the two dots and the forward slash Linux. They're not supposed to do that, so what we're gonna do is move that over and then everything should work. Uh, so let's go into sudo, okay. So the next thing we need to do, I'm just gonna go back into root so next thing we need to do is make old d def and then config so this one will just take the old config file and just transfer all your drivers and everything that you need over to the new one but if you just did make old config then you would have to go through a bunch of prompt saying yes you want to enable this no you don't want to enable that so I don't have much time uh, since uh, you know I want to get to using my computer so we'll just say make old config and that should load up granted if you have a higher core number say like a J5 J6 this will go a lot faster However, I am on a dual core, so this is going to take a little while. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is make slash J3, since again, I am on a dual core. Again, if you are on a quad core, then you say J5. If you have an I7 with eight cores, you say J9. So it's up to, it's the amount of cores you have plus one as a rule of thumb from the Gen2 wiki and the handbook. So the next thing we just do is make that and this should go with everything that I have set. Hopefully this won't take much time. So I do hope this uh, goes well. If it doesn't then you guys probably won't see this and uh, I'll have to redo this whole thing but I thought it would be an interesting experiment just to show you my steps on my very first kernel upgrade from a custom kernel so uh, and a lot of this stuff I honestly probably could go through <clears throat> could go through and disable a lot of it but I have a lot of things set that I know will work so I just don't want to mess with this as of right now while that goes, let me save my notes just so I can do this for next time. Uh, I'm just going to put this, I'm going to pause and let this go. I will come back when it's done. Okay, so once that's done, we just need to do, so there's two ways. Uh, no, it's the modules install. So you do make modules underscore install hopefully this doesn't take long yep because uh, during the make dash j3 a lot of the modules got loaded over so it's uh, pretty good so the next thing we need to do there's two ways we need to get the image that grub will boot from over so there's two ways to do it there's the make install, which will transfer all of the files over. But I'm going to try something a little different this time. Uh, I'm going to try just to do the VM 
linuts uh, just to see if that will work. So I'm just going to do a CP arch x86 underscore 64 bz boot then bz and then we're going to do that to boot backslash vm linuz dash 4.9 Point three four dash gen two. I'm going to assume that you could probably name this whatever you want, but might as well just name it uh, the kernel version slash the distribution you're on. So gen two. Okay, so moment of truth. We're going to finally do the grub mk config. So grub dash mk config dash o boot grub grub.cfg this should show up as the 4.9.34 in there and I don't see it okay so because of that, I'm just going to move everything. So I'm just going to do a make install then. This should move everything over to the boot. So now if we go to CD boot, list everything out, system VM Linux. So right here, interesting that it didn't show. So one more time, almost done. All right, so there it is. So the moment of truth, I'm going to reboot and hopefully this will work. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did boot into it. So as you can see, the 4.9.34 dash Gen 2 is all set. So it looks like uh, it worked. So my first successful Gen 2 kernel upgrade is successful, so uh, I'm very excited for that because I, this was one of the ones I was worried that it would crash my whole system. So I will be trying to make more videos uh, in the upcoming weeks. I'm probably going to do a video on uh, beginner's guide to make GNOME uh, look pretty, so look out for that. I'll try to make some more videos, but running out of ideas. So just if you guys have any ideas, let me know, and I will catch you guys in the next video.